Hello. Uh, today, in this video, uh, I would like to share to, how to enable SNI logging using PEM uh, 16.1 version. Here I have uh, the PEM GUI, the IP GUI. Uh, I have the CLI of the PEM and the client that connect to the PEM and then PEM forward it to the internet. All right, let's start. Let's log in. Okay. In, in uh, PEM, we need to do three things. We need to configure three things to enable the SNI logging properly. So there are two things that needs to be configured in PEM. The first one is the analytic mode. We have to enable it. Leave it like that. Okay. And the second one is the format of the version of the uh, the flow. Okay, so uh, you have to change it from fourteen dot one as a default to sixteen dot one. Okay, and then update. And the third part is in the uh, LTM classification profile, the one that usually used by PEM, which is classification PEM. Here we need to enable log unclassified domain. Okay, so here we need to enable it. Then, because of we are trying to log, then we have to uh, insert a value in the log publisher. In this demo, I choose the one that logs locally. Okay, right. So that's the three things that we need to configure. And then now uh, we start with uh, uh, creating the policy. For the PEM, right? Now I try with the unknown policy, and then uh, we should be through with a log all. Uh, less than 100 flow is uh, all flow, and here we start to configure the usage reporting. We enable it, then we select uh, HSL. Change the granularity to flow. Publisher will leave it here. Uh, interval threshold, say 30 seconds. Now, here I can select several fits. Uh, for example, I just want to show destination IP port and protocol, and then the SNI itself. Right, so the SNI will be the last field on, in the log. Okay. And then everything else is default. Then we create a data lane listener. Uh, let's say VG test destination 000 0. Service port is all port. Uh, source address transition auto map. We select on VLAN subscriber. Subscriber manager in profile choose the default, and then unknown subscriber policy we select one. Then we click finish. Okay. Now we have our uh, the the system configured for the pen part. So let's go and test it. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's do that here. Here I need to check. I send it okay, so I have to ch change it to the pen. Uh, for six, that's the pen. Okay, so it starts showing, but here uh, we don't see the uh, SNI, right? Just still the null, null, null part because this is just a DNS. Okay, so now I start with let's try uh, Google, for example. Okay, hopefully it comes. Yeah, so now we can see google.com. This is the, the SNI that recorded why two records. The first one is the start, and the other one is the end of it. We see also there is another one uh, coming. Uh, the from the client okay yeah so uh that's all for today thank you for watching